Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a fan art drawing. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So today's fan art drawing is going to be of Nightwish and particularly the singer Taria. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm really sorry if I don't. Let me know down below in the comments if I pronounce it right or not. But I wanted to make a fan art drawing of her and I found this reference image and I thought it looked so cool and she had all these dark clothes on and it was in this pose that I'm drawing right now and it just really spoke to me and I was like, yeah, I really want to draw that in my style. So I did and as always nowadays, I started out by sketching it out on my iPad. So I really wanted to make sure that I had everything right. I wanted to make her hair really long and flowy. Her hair is long anyway, but I wanted to have it a bit more flowy than the actual image showed. and. I have to say I was struggling with the hands but <laughs> yeah her hands were a bit tricky because one of the hands which you can see on the left side of the image was the way it was on the reference picture but the other side I just couldn't get right so I was like you know what I'll do my own take on this it's going to be my style anyway so that's what I went for and it turned out quite well with the hand like that and I think it it's all right it's not so bad and what i wanted to do as well i didn't want to have just taria on this image i wanted to have something in the background as well and i was looking around and i was like i'm just gonna make a rose because with the red and then the darkness it should be a nice contrast to each other so that's what i went for so once the sketch is done i made the line art of it and that went pretty fast. All the line art usually goes fast. It's always like the sketching part that takes forever. And especially if I want to get something right, I can go over things multiple times to make sure it's okay. So for the coloring in, I'm going in with my lighter skin tones here. And I'm trying to build up the colors. And I'm trying to think of methods that I can develop my skills as well. And for now... I think with the skin tones, I think I can't really improve it the way I want to. I think I need to really figure out what else I want to do and how I want to do things differently. But it does look nice. I am really, really happy with it, especially with like the blush. I think that adds some more. It adds more color to her skin. It makes it look a bit healthier instead of just plain skin tone colors. And as you can see, I'm adding in like a purpley tone as well and that's just for like the darker shadow areas so that's what I'm doing here and I always love how the skin tone looks on paper when you start with that and the rest is really plain white paper I really like how it just stands out so what I continued on was the rose I kind of wanted to work from top left to bottom right kind of or at least from left to right because I'm right-handed myself and that way I didn't want to smudge anything and I know that Copic markers don't really smudge but I didn't want to take the risk of it being wet and then me doing something silly because I have plenty of times where I've done something silly where I didn't think it was possible so that's what I went for here so for the rose I didn't want to make a lifelike rose so I kind of went for like bits and pieces and I don't know what it's called this kind of rose but I wanted to break it apart and have open spaces but still look like a rose so that's what I went for there and I colored it in with two reds so I started with my I think it was R29 actually lipstick red and I continued on with like a darker color on top of that and blended that a bit together and once that was done I continued on to the eyes and I saw I've seen a picture of Taria with really nice light green eyes and they're really beautiful. And I wanted to make sure that I captured the really light green eyes as well. So that's what I went for here. And I immediately added the highlight in the eyes because I didn't want to forget. And 
know myself, I, I could forget. So I want to make sure that was there <laughs> beforehand. And I love how it looks. I really do love how it looks. It looks so bright and light. It's so pretty. And once I was done, I did the stem of the rose. So that's just three brown colors and blend that together. So that's fairly simple. But the next part is the hair. And I'm so excited about the hair. So one thing that I was not happy with myself was when you have this big piece of hair that is not divided in any sections by the line art, I found it really hard to color it in and to shade it in. So what I did in the past was have what I did in the past, I had really big blocks of hair and then big blocks of shadows and big blocks of like lighter bits and stuff. And it, I felt it didn't really work for me. It wasn't quite right. So I wanted to try something different. So you can see me basically going in with the base color and then with a shade darker. So I went for brown hair that was E77, but then I went for a neutral gray on top of that. and. It was just a bit darker than the gray and I went in with lines. I made sure that I didn't have one big patch of brown left in there, but that it was divided and that the hair was flowy and that it wasn't stationary looking. And that's kind of what I went for here. So I kind of built that up with neutral grays and then in the end black. And I went over with the E77 again to try and blend everything a bit together. So that's what I went for there. And I think you can especially see the effects on the right side of the hair, what I'm doing here. So I'm coloring in the entire block of hair basically. And I'm trying to imagine how I want the hair to flow as well. So you can see that I did put in some line art bits that helped me determine how the hair was going to flow but i want to make sure that with the neutral colors or the neutral grays that it really had that effect and i managed it and i'm so happy with how it looks it's so pretty and i usually don't really say that about my own drawings <laughs> i think it's a bit weird but i'm really really happy with how that turned out and especially like with the flowy bit on for on the paper the right side and then the shadows underneath there. I think the lines like this really worked out for me this time. And this is something that I want to try and keep on doing because I know how I draw my hair. My hair is usually just one big block and then I have to fill it in. And I think with the colors like this, I can just give it a bit more life. And I'm really excited to do that with all my other pieces. I can't wait till I can fill in all my other pieces like this as well. And I hope it's going to turn out the way it turns out now. And I think in like the time that I've done this, in the time that I've drawn and colored and I've learned so much in this whole period. And I only started in December, but I've already learned so much. And maybe for like my one year, celebrate my one year YouTube video, I'm going to recreate the first drawing that I've made with markers. And those are with touch markers. And it was actually an elf or a fairy that I've made. And when I look back at it, I'm like, oh my goodness, the face. <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking, um, but that should be a fun video. So let me down below in the comments if you want to see that video on how much I've progressed in this time. It's only been one year, but I've had weekly videos up since then. So that is very exciting. So yeah, what I'm doing next is I'm filling in the parts on her arms. So the cloth over her arms, I wanted to look transparent. So what I did is I went in with like a lighter neutral gray again. And I went over it with the lightest skin color that I've used for skin. And what that does, when you go over a darker marker with a lighter one, is it pulls away the color from the first marker you put down. And that's what happened here, but that is what is creating this really nice effect with the bits of clothing on her arm and I think it looks so amazing it looks exactly how I want you can still see the gray and I made sure I put 
some creases like in the arm as well and where the folds of the clothes are and it really really helps and I wanted to try it out I wasn't quite sure if that was going to work but it did so that is very exciting and really happy with that so did that on her chest as well and then like it's kind of like a corset looking I don't know if it actually was a corset but then her top is just really black and I shaded that in with neutral gray number nine I think and then black so number 100 so that's what I've done and I did the same for the skirt as well now in the reference picture she had a beautiful silver belt on her dress I well I think it's dress or it might have been jeans as well I don't know because it was like a half image so I couldn't really see what like the bottom part was but I made it into a dress because I loved how it looked and I went in with the same colors as I did for her top so that it would match and with that we're oh my gosh we're almost at the end of the video already crazy how fast this goes I feel like I can talk about everything forever but yeah this is it so i'm just putting some final touches on my drawing i hope you guys liked it i thought this was amazing to make i love it i love the reference image and i've actually heard the band as well and they're really really good it's so amazing so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys next week thank you bye